For four lessons, we've learned essentially the basic techniques of how to conduct the orchestra, or at least what the arms do. We know that our right arm keeps time, keeps the patterns going. And we know that our left hand tells us when to get softer or louder, and all the other little intimacies that go on that the right hand cannot do. Now comes the hard part, putting them together. It's a little bit like this, but more difficult. So how do we start this? Well, let's go back to our two basics. That four pattern we started off with when we first learned how the patterns worked. So what I want you to do, and I'll do it once for you first, is just to conduct a basic four pattern at about this tempo. The one, two, three, four. And we're going to add the left hand to that, and we're going to make our crescendo for 16 beats and our diminuendo for 16 beats. But I do not want you to change the size or the pattern of what your right hand does. So watch me once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. Now you've seen how it works. It's your turn now. All the same rules apply. This hand stays steady. This one has no jerky movements. And it doesn't get to the top too soon or the bottom too soon. This is a lot harder than you think it is. It requires control. Basically, eventually, you get to the point where you do not think about what your right hand is doing. So let's try it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16. See, not so easy. Maybe we can make it easier by dropping out one of the beats. Let's try the same thing in the three pattern. You remember the three pattern? Left, right, up. Left, right, up. So again, 16 up, 16 down, but a few missing, just to make it easier. With me, please? And one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Even easier yet, in two. Two was just up and down with the first beat going to the right a little bit. Down, up, down, up. With me, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16. Very good. Your arm should be a little tired, especially your left arm, because you're having to control muscles in a way you probably haven't had to do before. Imagine that taking place over the course of, say, well, the 55-minute Eroica Symphony, or the hour and 40-minute Mahler Third. That's what we have to do. That's how we get our exercise. That basic exercise that we've just done is the key component to really working on the independence between the right hand and the left. And once you master that, you'll be in pretty good shape to do all the rest. 
The one thing you don't want to do is this. Or as my conducting teacher used to say, oh, Monsieur Slatkin, you could have left half of you at home. Yeah.